Welcome back, Five Aces. Battle control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here, and welcome to Late Night Casting Open Array, season number four. This is uh, the finals of the finals of the Caution Cup. And again, massive shout out to Caution for hosting this. Some new maps have been procured in the wake of this, and uh, this is one of them. It's called Summer Camp. It doesn't look like a lovely location for a summer camp. It's missing a lot of you know, woods and opportunities to, shelter, to find shelter from the rain. Uh, if you've ever experienced any summer camps, I, I certainly have and I love them. But you usually want to have a location that is a bit more sheltered. So you can actually yeah, avoid the rain that is inevitably going to be there when it's summer camps. Anyone else used to be a member of the Boy Scouts? I used to love that when I was younger. Just, you know, being out in nature. Anyway, this is the best of seven series and uh, game number six and... Despro is actually 3-2 up for the time being. It's been an insane series and it's been an insane run for tech rushes. Mostly by virtue of, of Despro making them work, but also we've seen some success from Blackhand. As I think he had 1v2 rush in game number 2 or something. And uh, yeah, so far the track record. Are we actually going to see a meta shift? I, I doubt it. It's probably just the new maps. But... It has been a wild, wildly successful rate for that. Tech rushes have been way more efficient this game, uh, this series than I've ever given them credit for. Like I'm trying to poke with that rifle, being a bit too late, being a bit tardy, and being gunned down as a result. Engineer goes prone, but is surviving for now. Black with a lot more infantry out, so that leads me to believe that's a double ref against the War Factory. Yes, sir, it is. And, oh, the factions. It is a Ritz Mirror. That's pretty cool. We haven't had those in a while. Ranger Danger. Are we going to be seeing the Ranger Danger? Could be really good against uh, Rocket Soldiers, unattended Rocket Soldiers, like unattended daycare, uh, unattended toddlers in daycare. Will be picked up. In this case, not by a concerned mother, but by a Ranger. And, uh, you know, Ranger Danger. Always want to be cautious. Speaking of cautious, oof, okay, that was a bit deep. Non-cautious of that ranger, yeah, but a massive shout out to Caution for hosting those cups. I know how much organizational legwork is behind those, and it always uh, fills me with joy to see players stepping up and community members stepping up and taking up the hat that I dropped on the ground when I was no longer able to dedicate uh, sufficient time to streaming. Which is sad, but uh, again, um, I've stated this previously, but in, in the near future, I'm going to be having a little bit more time uh, for open array casts because there's going to be a bit more, more spare time happening. Ranger gets a little poke and prod, but nothing too significant. And we're up to four harvesters. What's the eco lines here? Just three. Yeah, also five. Five is a pretty good number. Despro also being fairly even on the service depot timing, so his War Factory rush has certainly paid off. Sixth Harvester already online, and he can now sneak in a tank if he wants. Yep, he's doing just that. Light tank, Ranger combo, plus a service depot and a relatively timely MCV. That is what War Factory uh, first lets you do, if you can get away with it. And on this map, that is fairly reasonable, because the spawn distances are quite long. Summer camp takes a week, after all. We all know that. And this map is interesting because you have very few expansion slots. I, I think we're seeing a shift in the meta yet again. I remember the map maker meta used to be at least five or six expansion slots. Uh, this seems to be no longer the case. Ooh, Rocket Soldier would be ripe for the picking. But nope. Decides against it. Yeah, these maps, all the maps that have been... Uh, that have been handmade and crafted for the Caution Cup appear to follow the formula of two or three expansion slots each. We've got three on this map. That's pretty much it. There is your mainline expansion that is a sheltered away, so it's tucked away from your main base, so you can't easily reinforce from the main base. Then you've got a double expansion here, and you've got a single expansion that is relatively exposed. So, 
this is a relatively low econ on this map. Despero gets the jump on the Gwaldaric and because there is no vision, the Ranger was not in position, he gets to do that for free. He also invested a lot of cash into medics. Will trade cash for medical supplies. Seems to be the MO here. Ooh. But the forces appear to be uh, to be seeing their chance, seeing their window. Hmm. Kind of like if Despero it could have lost a lot more. Despero trying to consolidate his forces because his army is not comp uh, not in compact formation just yet. And a northbound expansion for Black and... Ooh. If Despero is sleeping on this, then this may be a problem for him because then, uh, then Black and would get enough time to just lock down this expansion as well. And that would constitute roughly 60% of the uh, of the map's economy. That would be an, an oligopoly with uh with blackened at the helm oh the ranger yeah you ain't getting out of this one my friend he sees the army incoming despero's ranger play man this man has definitely mastered the the art of of combined arms not a moving being patient ranger advantage is now melting away tank lines are crumbling uh, have i given him too much praise here he is being steamrolled by Blacken's infantry forces. That was just an overcommitment. He should have fought in the protection of his turret lines. As it stands here, he just lost his entire standing army in the blink of an eye. Yeah, 75 rifles over 11, 21 rockets over 2. Oof, this is looking brutal. And a 13k discrepancy to boot. <laughs> Black, Blacken's army has actually gone up over the course of this engagement. Whereas uh, Despero has just straight up tanked. He didn't do the tech rush. No tech rush, no win. Nah, that's, that would be too simple. It would be oversimplifying it. But as it stands, there's just a death ball for Blacken. That's how I used to lose to Blacken every single time when I lost against him in RHL. Which was most of the time. It was just lose the first early engagement and Black and you're never going to recover from there. Because he's just going to keep his army in one compact formation. You can't really uh, go for multi pranks. He is going to be there first because he's got positional advantage and he just drives it home. That's pretty much it. That is what's happening here because he has locked down this expansion slot as well. So he now owns 60% of the real estate. That's a problem, my friend. Despero, do you have any uh, miracle solutions here? Blacken is going for a Raider Dome this early. This this is when you know he's confident. He is being extremely confident in a victory. The Blackened Raider Tech Switch. The Switcheroo. I ain't looking too hot anymore. Can he bounce back here? No, I just feel like this is too much infantry. Too many infantry forces, all converging, and getting into a really good position. Oh, Blacken is losing most of his armored, uh, his armored columns here, but it's not enough. It is not enough by a long shot, not by a nautic mile. GG being called, rightfully so. That is the great equalizer. We are up to a 3-3 and it all boils down to one last match. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I've signed up for. All right. We're going to be tackling that last match in just a second. See you then. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. All right, the last match of the series, Despro versus Black. And who is going to take the crown in caution cup number? I don't know what number it is. It is a Russia versus Ukraine mirror. How, uh, what else would it be? Obviously. Fortunately, we've got no, no lake here, so he can't lose his capital cruiser. If you've kept up with news, then uh, you know what I'm referring to. Yeah. Attack dog out for Blackened, who likes his dogs a lot. Kennel is also appearing for Despero. So I like that the dogs are coming back into the meta. That They are fickle units. They are fickle beasts. Sometimes they can get amazing results and sometimes they just get gunned down. Like the stray mods that they are. Nah, those are good dogs, I think. 
It's weird because they're German Shepherds, I, I believe. No Siberian Huskies or nothing. Technician may be feeling a bit uneasy here because there's dogs. Dogs in the vicinity. I saw that. <laughs> oh, that was actually a sneaky dog. Sneaky bugger. Right, it wasn't nice. You saw nothing. You know nothing to snow. All right, that <laughs> dog takes a bit of a takes a bit of a grazing shot. His fur is a bit ablaze, but he's still fine. He's st still okay, chugging along. So the mid Derek goes to Despro, and the right hand side is gonna be claimed by Reddent. Oh, Blacken is going for a War Factory first build. That's awkward. Uh, the map here is Circulate. We're gonna take a look at this one again. It follows the same formula. Not too econ heavy. If you compare it to something like Winding Woods or the classics from the previous seasons. From pre previous seasons of RHL, that is. There used to be lots more expansions. There used to be six, seven, or eight expansions per player. And nowadays we're seeing, and those maps we're seeing like two or three. Let's see. Three ore mines in the main base. One expansion here, a double expansion there. And double expansion there. I mean, that's already a permanent expansion. So it's basically three expansion slots per player. That is not that much. So that also explains why tech rushes are way more efficient here. You don't, you can't just uh, gobble up the entire ore on the map and stop producing from seven war factories before you can get to maximum efficiency. You basically have to make do with a lower unit count and as a result tech units they can sometimes really turn the tide black and go for his service depot already so he's trying for an early expansion huh flag track out despero i've usually seen him go for uh for an apc but flag truck let's see let's see there is as of now no defense against anything for black and there is a sizable army out for Despro. Relatively dangerous. Lots of rockets, flak truck is online. Oh, flak has been revealed. Counter flakening. Yeah, very, very little in the way of defenses. Uh, double flak truck out for Despro. Okay, he's managed to squeeze out one more. And he's got 10 more seconds, so he can maybe build a third light vehicle, but yeah, opts against it. Fair enough. Hmm, this is risky from Blacken because if I know that my opponent has been going for a double ref build and he can infer that from the infantry masses that have been steamrolling their way across the map, I would not be going for a scouting round with flag trucks because with a flag truck you can't escape and another flag truck is the problem. They just poke at each other and whoever gets the first shot wins. Oh, dog being sacked. That is a dead dog. Yep, splat. Oof. Some gory animations there. He had a good life until the until it was eviscerated by an oil derrick explosion. So so far this game is fairly even. In terms of economy, Blacken is broke, but he's got more assets. Eh, it's evened up now. Reason why he's broke is simply because he went to War Factory first and hasn't scaled up yet. But his eco should actually Oh, you know what? He actually managed to only build Four harvesters. Yeah, that would be why. Yeah, flag track for flag track, and the flag track is, uh, the spare flag stays alive. Not too bad. Despro looking, sitting pretty here. He's gonna have to tangle with the first heavy. He has no front lines. No front lines whatsoever, and there is a base push. Okay, retreating behind the flame tower. That mobile flag is still alive somehow. Ooh, is that a Tesla coil? That certainly is going to be a Tesla coil from both players. All right, interesting. Now it's getting we're getting to the spicy phase. This is a bad. This is a bad refinery. This can get flamed out. Flamed down in a matter of nanoseconds. I don't know about this. He's baiting. He's waiting for the for his Tesla coil to be deployed. But uh, there's going to be a counter Tesla. Zap time. Yeah. That is going to be abandoned immediately. Tesla coil not in the best of spots either, yeah. 
That was kind of a weird spot for Blackened to commit to. Strange hill to die on. <laughs> Desper is scouting for, <laughs> for an auxiliary army. <laughs> there is none. <laughs> there is no auxiliary army here. Uh, he also... Uh, Desper, I was trying to say, sorry. Despero also managed to get his ore refinery here established, so he's in a completely okay spot. He is screaming for a threat that does not exist. He's gonna find a heavy here. Too bad. He has abandoned his post here. Ooh, is this gonna be a mistake? Tesla coil hasn't been revealed either. Hmm. Yep, Tesla encounter Tesla. Uh oh, Desper is abandoning his post. Does not want to contest the base creep. This would be a good time for V2s. Again, Blackhand has been really good at aggressively expanding. He's not been very good at defending his advances, but he does have them. That is something. This black truck is still alive somehow. How? So this is such an awkward spot because it's actually Desper who has got way more claims to the to the land. But he is not ahead in eco, because Blackhand has extensively been harvesting from all of his expansions, and he's just been better at utilizing what he's got. But in terms of real estate, it would de definitely be a uh, Despero's game. He also has managed to get the sneaky expansion out. Awesome, that's good for him. Flamers are starting to chip in some damage here. Yeah, that is a very significant victory. It's going to be pushing into the main base for now. On the bottom right, we've got a little dispatch killing a harvester. We're going to be keeping an eye on that as well. That is the tech down. That... Ooh, hoo, hoo. This MCV ain't going to get very far. Rip. No mechanics to rebuild that one either, courtesy of there not being any allies. Oh, what's he going to commit to? He knows he's going to be losing this army. Smushed against the wall. Oh, the service depot stays alive. Could have committed earlier. But still. All of this just for the low cost of one harvester on Despero's side. One harvester on the refinery. That's completely fine. There's also a Raider Dome now. Plus the Yuck is coming online. It's looking very good for Despero. I was not expecting this game to go that way. But it is looking absolutely stellar for him. Right now, economy is sitting at 44 over 37. And the army should even be worse because there's a lot of assets in in defenses for for Despro, uh, for Blackened. Both have have been ruffling some feathers. What is this? A little barbecue. Josef Visarionovich's personal barbecue. All right. Still a dangerous force that's kind of threatening. I don't like too many flamers here. That's a bit of an overcommitment. This many flamers, this is just gonna get uh, crushed by heavy armor. But not enough heavies. Not enough heavies at all. More flamers appearing and the AoE is actually... <laughs> Scorched Earth Policy. Pretty good. He's killed one more harvester here. So Blackhand not in the best of spots anymore. Um, building a counter dome for now. Assets 50k over 38k. Yeah, this is starting to look relatively straightforward. V2s are starting to appear as well. And that's always a, the bells of doom. Bells of doom ringing here for Blackhand who is sitting in the corner of the ring, bruised and battered. And not sure if we can come back anytime soon. V2 launcher is ready. Operation V2 is a go. That's a, there is an army though. <laughs> Flamers against the... You know what's so cool? I've never managed to catch that detail in the animation. But whenever the flamethrowers are shooting at something. There is this blue ignition. Uh, there is an ignition flame. You have to take a look at that. Alright. We're gonna be seeing a split push from both players. But I wanna I wanna see the Yeah, that's the blue glitch flame. If you if you've managed to catch that. 
One yak goes down. What is happening here? Oh, that's the service depot down. That's nasty. It's playing the death by a thousand cut strategy. Despro struggling to keep up with the micro. That's, uh, by the way, really hard. That's not, not to judge here because, uh, yeah, microing at four, um, four fronts at once. But he has managed to procure himself tier four. There are Sharkies zapping. Yeah, this giving him the good old zap tap. And that is going to be a dead Raider though in just a hot minute. Oh, nasty hit though. Dead Raider Dome. It's not looking good for Blacken anymore. Good hits, but ultimately, yeah, the heavy tanks are just going to start running him down. And unfettered voltage coming your way. That's uh, 2,000 volts. 2,000 volts waltzing all over you. And down goes the Conyard. V2 rocket launcher. There's some V2 and counter V2 action here. All right. <laughs> oh no, that was a miss. But that was such a misplay. Yikes. Despro has his. Oh, that was beautiful. That was hold fire plus a control uh, control fire. An attack ground move to finish him off. That was really well played. Blacken has managed to get a yak out, but he does not have an, an army to speak of. Economy, 20k discrepancy, uh, 7 harvests are still for black and somehow. But the earnings, the earnings are gonna start tanking like crazy. Alright, let's get back to the stats that actually matter. Ouch. Two V2s here. There's a MIG, yeah! Okay, in a situation like this, there is no way you can, no way in hell you can defend against the MIG as well. It's just too nimble. You can't afford to invest. Ooh, nice. You can't really afford to invest into into anti-air defenses anymore, because if you build flak trucks, then it's just gonna get overrun. Oh, Meek being abandoned here. Oh, still survives. Wow, and the yak gets some crazy value. Tesla tanks as well. Is that TF? Is that just a TF smurf? Have you been misled all that time? <laughs> well. Shock is OP, I guess is gonna be his first comment. They're not, by the way. They have... The only thing they've got is crazy high range. Can I blame it on the map? <laughs> nah, Black and Biggie got sport about it. Yes. Black and is always, has always been a good sport about losing this map. <laughs> good hustle. Oh, Parabombs somewhere. Where's the Paras? Oh no, those para Paratroopers. Less exciting, less flashy. Still managing to get a great, uh, crazy kill count though. He didn't take middle at all, yeah. It was really... Hmm. It was really blackened over committing to the right hand side and not having anything to show for it. Had he harvested more from this expansion, he could have locked down the map again, but he didn't. And as a result, that is gonna be the victory lap here. I don't know. Got both spots camped. Um, yeah, but he still had income. He had enough income here. Desper going for an Iron Curtain as well. Yeah, yeah. The top spot was completely uncontested by both players. So it was also a little bit of a positional win, I guess. So Black and losing the coin flip there. Man, that's when, when you've got a massive Shock Troopers, they can actually appear to be strong. But this is so expensive. This entire army. That's like, what, 20 Shockies? That is 8k. That is 8k in assets. That is a really expensive army. It doesn't look like it because it's very small. Really dense and concentrated firepower. And that's why they're not very good. If there is one V2 shot, a single well-placed V2 shot is gonna end this army. You'll have to check the replays here. I mean, it's... It's fairly straightforward. He managed to lose the coin flip, but also... Some things went didn't go his way. Granted, fair enough. But some other things... It was just Despero playing it super well. Chi Chi, well played. That is the series. 
And oh my lord, have we ever seen this much Tesla tech in one series? I'm fairly certain we haven't. I certainly can't remember any other any series like this. This has been an insane showcase from start to finish, both Black and, and Despro, giving it their all. And ultimately it is a 4-0-3 for Despro. Congratulations, taking a taking a win off of one of the one of the old guard. Very, very impressive. And his Tesla Tech Plus Iron Curtain gameplay has been on point. Black and trying some more traditional strategies, but also definitely trying out some new things as well. So congratulations to both players. Thank you for watching and thank you to Caution for has for ho hosting. For hosting. Um, we're going to be back with some Shadow Paradise and as well as some replays that Orb sent me. Until then, until further notice, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Awesome series. Five aces out. Battle control terminated.